Hello there. Let's go ahead and take a look at communicate.io. What is communicate.io? Uh, it's a live chat software uh, which you can integrate easily with leading bad bot platforms like uh, Dialogflow or Amazon Lex. Uh, there are ways to integrate it with any other chatbot also as far as uh, you have the web books for them. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at integrating the same with Dialogflow uh, for now. In Dialogflow, I have a very simple bot over here. And what this bot does is if I ask it to book a hotel in a particular city, it will come back and say that a hotel has been booked. It really doesn't do anything other than come back with a response for now. And if I ask it something uh, that it does not understand, it will come back and say, you know, can you rephrase that for me or something to the effect of I didn't understand what you said. Oh, we quickly uh, go ahead and do the integration here. Here is what you need to do. You go to, you know, you create an account and communicate and go in here and go to bot integration. Go to integrate a bot. Over here, it tells you the steps that you need to follow. Uh, basically, you need to go to dialog flow, go to your settings and go to the service account that you see here. Click on the same. This should take you to the Google Cloud Platform uh, where you should have already signed up. If you haven't signed up for Google Platform, take a look at a video which explains how to sign up for the same and get a $300 free trial for a year or so. Anyways, once you go to the Google Cloud Platform after clicking on the service account, you'll see uh, a service uh, account here that starts with Dialogflow. Just click on this and create a key. It should be the JSON key. Go ahead and say create. Uh, Obviously, this allows access to your cloud resources to store the file very securely. The file got downloaded. I go back to communicate.io and say upload the file. I'm just going to pick up this file and say save and proceed. Over here, I'm going to give this bot a name. I'm just going to call it my bot. And uh, I'm going to say yes for this and you will see why in a few minutes uh, basically this is the human handoff where you know if your bot is not able to understand something or someone explicitly says i want to talk to an uh, agent then the bot will transfer the chat from the bot to an agent so let's go ahead and say finish the setup uh, one more step that you need to do here is go to your conversation rules and Ideally, you want to start all your conversations with a bot, I would think, if you have a bot. Uh, so uh, go ahead and enable that and select the bot that you just created. And you are done with the integration, actually. A quick look at how to do the installation. That's also pretty straightforward. Go to install, pick up the JavaScript here and, you know, drop it into your website. I have already created a blank index page uh, which is supposed to be my website and uh, uh, already done the integration now here is my chat bubble for communicate.io i would go ahead and click on the same and say book a hotel in delhi it came back and said hotel booked in delhi now when i say what is the weather there it obviously does not understand and so I would want to talk to an agent so can I talk to an agent and it's going to come back and say one moment I'm handing you off to an agent and if I go back to communicate.io I would have got a notification here and uh, here is the uh, chat hey what's up right And up here, you will see that uh, the name says Software Trial, which is the name of my agent. In this particular case, I didn't give it any fancy name. Uh, before this went to the uh, agent, it would have said my bot or bot or something like that over there. Uh, here is how you configure the agent transfer. I actually have an intent that I have created, which says human handoff. and. Right now it has only one phrase and it's called talk to agent. You would want to train it with a few more phrases. If you're curious to 
as to how to do that in Dialogflow. Again, there are a few, uh, I think one or two URLs that we'll, I'll leave in the description for Dialogflow. Uh, what's important here is you need to make sure that your intent's action name is input.unknown. Communicate uses that to kind of um, transfer a chat from a bot to an actual human agent. And I have given this message here also, which says one moment handing off to an agent, uh, which is what you saw here. Uh, one moment handing off to an agent. Uh, so yes, the integration was that simple. And by the way, if you're curious on how to use, you know, Google Storage Cloud for uh, playing around with your HTML files or even your web pages, website, whatnot. Uh, there's a video for that too. Uh, one more thing I would like to mention here is by default in Dialogflow, the uh, fallback intent, that is the intent that is uh, that the bot falls back to if it doesn't recognize what the user says, has an action called input.unknown. I actually changed it to input.notknown because if I leave it as unknown, every time the user says something, uh, it would transfer, I mean, every time the user says something that the bot does not understand, if the action name is input.unknown, then it's going to transfer to an agent. Uh, if that's what you want, then you should leave it that way. If not, you should change it to something else. And if you do want it to transfer to an agent, you might want to change these messages to say something like, let me get you an agent, right? Uh, let's just take a quick look at that too. This time it's the bot and I'm gonna say, book a hotel in Mumbai. And uh, it came back and said that, what is the weather there? And this time it says, let me get an agent to assist. And you see the name has already changed here. And on the agent side, uh, here is the conversation. The agent of course sees the history of the conversation with the bot and can go and say, mm, the weather is great. Don't worry. There you go. Uh, so yeah, it uh, was that simple an integration uh, with a few clicks. Um, if you are looking for a live chat software to integrate with uh, Dialogflow or Lex, uh, I think this one is worth a try, you know, worth taking a look at. Uh, all the best, and uh, as always, if you like the video, appreciate the thumbs up, and do spread the word. Thank you very much.